When you get all excited and buy the top of the line MacBook from Apple, sometimes your eyes are bigger than your wallets. And though it hurts you, sometimes you just gotta send it back on to Apple. Well, for some of us, patience can be a virtue because eventually that product will end up on the Apple refurbished website, having gotten a good cleaning, new shell, and a new battery. After obsessively stalking the Apple refurbished website for months, I've got good news because the MacBook Pro 14 and to a lesser excitement level, the 16, they have finally made that list. Before we go buying, I want to do a lightning round top five reasons why somebody would buy a MacBook Pro 14 in the first place. Lightning round number one, the M1 Max processor is my favorite chip that Apple's ever made. It's a substantial upgrade over the M1 standard, has power that rivals my full on custom desktop PC, but at the same time, it doesn't draw as much power as my refrigerator. Cough, cough, NVIDIA, cough, cough. Lightning round number two. The MacBook Pro 14 is the perfect size for a laptop. It's only slightly bigger than the MacBook Air, which is one of my favorite computers ever, and it has all of the power that we already talked about. Look how small this thing is. It shouldn't be that powerful. Lightning round number three. The MacBook Pro 14 has Thunderbolt 4, HDMI, and an SD card reader. Literally the perfect amount of I.O. that I need on a daily basis. Lightning round number four. The brand new redesigned MacBooks have the best screens Apple has ever made. 120 hertz refresh rate, one million to one contrast ratio. They can go up to crazy levels of brightness for HDR content. It's a perfect screen for an almost perfect laptop. Lightning round number five. Well, because. <laughs> okay, now we are in the seat. Let's see what we actually get. First stop to the refurbished store. Let's see all, I mean, check it out. We got MacBook Airs, we got iMacs, we got all sorts of sweet stuff. Look at that, a MacBook Air for $849. That's pretty nice, but we're not here for that. Look at that, you can get a base model MacBook Pro 14 for $17.99. That is so awesome. All the way down to the most expensive. So you can see as we're going up, we get bigger. We actually get M1 Max for $29.69. What do we get here that we won't get later? Okay, so this one comes with 32 gigabytes, one terabyte. Okay, that's not as exciting as what we're really looking for. We're looking for the full, the full capability. Here we go, refurbished 14 inch MacBook Pro, Apple M1 Max, 10 core, 32 core GPU. This model is 4229, ouch. Okay, originally released October 2021, 64 gigabytes unified memory, four terabyte solid state drive. So it's not the eight terabyte solid state drive. So the most expensive refurbished as of right now doesn't also mean the most expensive MacBook. This costs 42, 29. Let's see how much it would cost to just buy a straight up MacBook Pro 14 um, with the same specs. Okay, so that one had the M1 Max, 64 gigabytes of unified memory, and it had the four terabytes out of drive. So if we were to buy this brand new from Apple, it would cost us $46.99 versus the $42.29 that we get here. $46.99 times 0.15. 704, 699 minus 704, boom, 39.95. So we are not getting a 15% discount on this one. It would be really nice if we did get a 15% discount, but one of the things, check this out, you may not have noticed this. If you buy it on the refurbished store, it is in stock and you will get it like right now. You order it today, it won't be available for delivery till May 23rd to May 30th. You can't pick it up at one of the local Apple stores until May 30th. So over a month and a half to get this if you were to buy this brand new. So you get an Apple refurbished version of this for $400 less and you get it tomorrow. Does it suck that you only get $400 off? Yes, that sucks. Sometimes you can get incredible like 15% discounts where when I bought my MacBook Pro 16 from the Apple refurbished website, it had a huge discount on it. But we were in different times then. There was not a component shortage. There was not a worldwide production problem all around of electronics. So I like that you're still getting a discount. Would I wish it was more of a discount? Yes, but I mean, at least you're gonna get it. Let's see if we can find this elsewhere and see if like Amazon has it for a little bit cheaper. So Mac M1 Max, MacBook Pro, M1 Max, MacBook Pro 14. Yeah, it's not even gonna let us buy it on Amazon. So we can't say whether it would be better on Amazon. Let's check b &H Photo because they also have a lot of good computer stuff. MacBook Pro 14, M1 Max, 32 core GPU. More options, 64 gigabyte, four terabyte. So if we were to buy it from B&H Photo, it would cost retail price 
Uh, who else might have it? Let's see what they go for on eBay. Let's see what they've actually sold for, not what they're going for. So 14 inch MacBook Pro, two terabyte solid state drive, sold for four grand. Here's one with a lesser processor, less RAM, and a smaller solid state drive. It sold for 36. Here's one with a two terabyte smaller hard drive, sold for 4,100. 4, Here, new Apple, oh, that's a MacBook Pro 16. M1 Max, 32 core, two terabyte. Here's another one that sold for four grand, 64 terabyte. Wow, somebody got a fantastic deal on that one. 14 M1 Max, 64, one terabyte for 900 bucks. Oh, free shipping from France, probably something shady in there. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, yes, it's expensive. No, it's not that big of a discount as compared to that 15% discount that they talked about earlier. However, we've looked on Amazon, they don't have it. We've looked on B&H Photo, they don't have it. Looking on eBay, they're still selling. I mean, look at this one. This one sold on April 4th for four terabyte solid state drive, 64 gigabytes of RAM, 32 core GPU. It sold for 6170. Holy crap, I think that's excessive. But look at that, it, these are selling for these amounts. Let's go ahead, we said we were gonna do it. Let's ATC it, add to cart, boom, add to, well bag. Add to bag, because that's what Apple does. I'll have it delivered because I would like it as soon as possible. Here we go, team. Let, let's make it so you can all see it. Your total, boom, 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 place in the order. Boom. And there you go. We have now just bought the most expensive refurbished MacBook Pro 14 that we could find on the Apple refurbished website. We just needed to, to verify and process. I'm all set. And here it is, though it was an instant for you. It's been like two days for me. No, I, I haven't been wearing this shirt for two days straight. Uh, so let's crack this thing open and see what's different about the most expensive refurbished laptop. That was satisfying. If you've watched any of my previous unboxings, you'll know that I've complained about how satisfying it is to open up these plastic things. Well, they're cardboard. That was good. Okay, so we've got the MacBook Pro 14 inch, 10 core CPU, 32 core GPU, 64 gigabytes, and four terabytes. Looks pretty brand new to me. Where's it at here? MacBook Pro. Apple certified refurbished. So this is the refurbished box, and this is the box if you were to buy it brand new. So there is some differences in the box. You'll see that on here, you get a picture of the MacBook. On here, you just get MacBook Pro and Apple certified refurbished. So let's see what else we have in here that might make it different from buying new. See, that was so much less satisfying. Uh, I, you gotta have some, like, some friction to that to make it good. Apple certified refurbished, looks pretty similar to me in the box we still get designed by apple in california we get the same power brick in this version we get the what power brick do we get do they cheap us out on the power brick okay so it's the 96 watt power adapter so it is the higher end power adapter so it's not like they're trying to sneak in a cheaper one we get the magsafe cable which literally i've never used on any of the brand new macbooks despite liking it so much all right so here's the whoops mm, 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 mm. Dude, team i love I absolutely love the construction of the brand new MacBook Pro 14. It is the perfect laptop for me. So we get all the same ports, we get all the same everything. I got silver instead of space gray this time. And looking on here, I don't see any scratches. I don't see any physical defects. I'm looking, the ports all look good. The ports on this side all look good. I don't see any scratches. Nothing looks dented or warped. Let's open it up. Such a satisfying boom. It's like Apple's version of the boah from like Inception. You know that Inception sound that came everywhere? Yeah, the body looks totally perfect. The glass looks pristine. Um, I don't see anything wrong with the glass. Everything looks really great. Hello. Well, hello to you, computer. Let's just set it up real quick and see if we get any differences. But yeah, the construction of the laptop is perfect. Like, it looks... Perfect. I was going to compare and nitpick it against the uh, the new one that I bought, but there's nothing to nitpick. It looks looks perfect. Okay, a couple minutes later, we've set it all up. It was exactly like the normal setup process of a MacBook. So let's, I mean, the screen, I always get shocked at just how good the screen on these things look. So let's do a, let's just test out the keyboard real quick and see if we have any big problems with that. And then I think we can call it that, yeah, this is an incredible option. Okay, test note. Typing test one, two, three. Typing test one, two, three. The quick brown fox jumped 
over the lazy dog. Okay, that used all the buttons. Okay, everything seems like it's working. We got this within, you know, the next day as we ordered it online. So yes, this is the most expensive refurbished MacBook Pro 14 you can buy, and it showed up just like it was brand new. And if you like this video, I bet you'd like to see a little more in-depth thoughts on the MacBook Pro 14, and you can find that by clicking right here. Thanks for watching.